Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. When Charlotte first started her career, all she was concerned with was whether or not she could fill her father's footsteps. But now she elevates the entire women's division. It's time to kick things up a notch. And from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. You know what I love about Dakota Kai is that She's such an incredibly humble competitor, but then you see her in the ring and you can't help but become a huge fan of the passion and fire she has when she competes. As much as I hate to agree with you, Byron, Dakota Kai is the kind of girl that will disarm you with a smile and then kick the features clean off your face. There are many idols that she looked up to in sports entertainment, including one of her favorites, Finn Balor. The first female competitor from New Zealand to make her name at this level. Ever impressive, Dana Brooke. And from Cleveland, Ohio, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke, certainly one of the hardest workers in the women's division, always trying to learn new skills and techniques to better her game. There's no doubt she has beauty, there's no doubt she has power, but she also has brains. Did you guys know that Dana Brooke has never lost a match on the same day that Byron Saxton had a date? Really? That's right. Amazing Byron, stat. when was your last date? None of your business. Exactly. Here comes the war goddess. And from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. You can thank Hall of Famer Woo! Booker T for much of Ember Moon's success. Corey, in terms of raw talent, where do you think these women rank as it relates to the other competitors in the division? Oh, they're right there at the top, Cole. Years from now, I think we're going to look back at these women and realize just how lucky we were to watch them compete. That's how talented they are. There she is, the Pirate! The following Twice contest up. is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kyrie Sane! Can we all please just stop with this pirate charade? Uh, ease up, Corey. It's fun. And it's based off Kyrie Sane's actual pro yachting career. Well, I understand that, Cole, but yachting and pirating? Two completely different things. I saw her say hi to Bret Hart the other day. A real pirate would have just stolen his jacket. Great ovation for Kyrie Sane. Won multiple championships in Japan before coming to the United States as one of the big recruits at NXT before 
becoming such a major star here. Captivating, charismatic. That is Kyrie Sane. You better get ready for the woman's right. And from Paris Island, South Carolina, Lacey Evans. Some may say she has a bad attitude, but Lacey Evans is as tough as they come, both inside and out of the ring. She's a former Marine who spent five years as a military police officer with a special reaction team. Lacey Evans is the real deal and a real lady. Oh, here we go again. I don't deny what Lacey's done in her life outside of WWE or in that ring, but I just don't think I'll ever understand how cheap shots and currying favor with authority figures or anything resembling ladylike behavior. You know what, Byron? You don't have to understand it. You don't Corey, your mouth is hanging open. And from Moscow, the ravishing Russian, Lana. You are looking at the true winner of the 2019 Women's Royal Rumble match. Becky Lynch stole her spot, and Lana was never technically eliminated. Lana has led Rusev to multiple title reigns and a year-long undefeated streak. Now she's looking to make history of her own. Guys, a win here would go a long way in proving that she is as good as she claims to be. And on the flip side, Cole, a loss could be very damaging to her long-term goals. The problem <laughs> child of WWE. And from Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! Liv Morgan is back, and now she's real. Huh? She looks exactly like she did before. One of the most underrated stars in the women's division. And I'd say this match will go a very long way in determining just who is WWE's most dominant woman. It definitely will, Cole. But at the and from Sanford, North Carolina, Lita. Talk about a, a woman who's made so much history here in WWE. Remember when she was the first female, along with Hall of Famer Trish Stratus, to main event Monday Night Raw. And she was such an important part of the Hardy Boys Team Extreme. Oh my God, it's Christmas come early. And from Yorktown Heights, New York, Mandy. God created the heavens and the earth, but those were but a prelude to Mandy Rose. Everyone just shut up. We didn't say anything. You're breathing, aren't you? Yes, the first lady of sports entertainment. And from Chicago, Illinois, Maria Kanellis. Maria Kanellis has competed against the top women's talent of the last two decades in WWE and ready to teach the new girls a lesson. Saxton, if you ever had a female look at you the way Maria looks at her husband, Mike Kanellis, 
you would fall over and drop dead. You'd be surprised. I meet a lot of women at the grocery store. We are so lucky to be here for this. And from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Maurice. We've seen Maurice ensuring the win for her husband, The Miz, as his ringside manager, but you can't forget she has enjoyed multiple championships of her own. Oh, Cole, I never forget anything about Maurice. She is truly unforgettable. One of those raids was a full 216 days, and I recall literally every moment in crystal clear, perfect detail. Oh, do you? Okay, all right. What did you have for breakfast on day six of her reign, Corey? Easy. I ate French toast in honor of Maurice.